Hey, I welcome you to Remedia One YouTube channel. This is your man, Mr. AB. Uh, today, we are going to continue to look at the plane geometry. Some of the questions are so interesting. Also, uh, we are going to give you all the secret, the guidelines, the hints, and the tricks for you to work with it comfortably for your A to be assured. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so, or if today is your first time being here. Like the video and share with your friends. We have the straight line with that here and that they want us to find the value of m so let's look at the diagram we know that a straight line add up to 180 so the whole of this have to add up to 180 x plus y plus m plus z have to add up to 180 degrees we are much interested with the m so let's take the m to one side so we can say m plus the rest of them x plus y plus z is equals to 180 so i'm going to take the whole of the x y z to the other side so the m is going to be 180 minus x y z okay so looking at what they gave us they give us the m let's isolate the x y z here so we are taking the m to the other side so our x must be equals to 180 minus m we have been given we have been given m is equals to half x plus y okay this implies that we can bring 2m here and 2m is equals to x y plus z and then we can look at look at this x y plus z is equals to 180 minus m and the same x plus y z is equals to 2m so we can able to equate okay we can able to equate so therefore we can say that 2m must be equals to 180 minus m and then we are trying to solve for m because that's our intention now we see only m so that work become much easier so we bring the m over here it become 3m and that is equals to 180 we divide both sides by 3 and that give us 60 degrees so the answer is 60 degrees all right guys we need to just flow with it and then uh, the answer will be revealed we have our next question here so anytime they give you this kind of diagram you can extend it and we can extend this down here goes up and we can also extend this and it's going up here and you know that you can also extend this line this is the transversal line so when we have two parallel lines and a transversal then you can talk about if we have angle here an angle here that's alternate alternate angles are what the same they are equal here we can say that 2x must be equal to 3x minus 15 and therefore we can able to solve for x so we bring 3 here it becomes subtract and that becomes negative x goes to negative 15 you divide both sides by negative and that give you 50 and then the question is asking us to find the angle NPQ. So always the angle that they are looking for is the one in the middle. So the middle. So they are looking. We are looking for uh, the P angle P, which you have to flow P. You have to flow NPQ. So we are looking for this angle here. This angle here. So angle NPQ has been giving us 3x minus 50 but we got our x to be 50 so it's going to be 3 times 50 minus 50 which is going to be 150 degrees minus 50 
and that is going to give us 100 degrees so 100 degree is okay so in this question you have to be you have to know the meaning of this line here this symbol here is telling you that all the three sides are the same okay and if all the three sizes are congruent one day that means here and the whole of here and the whole of here are also congruent one come so I can we can say that this triangle is a equilateral triangle that means each of the angle is 60 so that means here is 60 the whole of this 60 and the whole of this is 60 they want us to find the angle P here the angle P is not 60 so this little here so how are we going to solve that we need to look at the small triangle here too so this triangle you see these two lines these two lines so you have to look at the opposite so they are saying that this here and this here are also congruent one according to here okay so we can represent it by we can represent it by variable x they are the same so here is another triangle within another triangle we can say that x plus x plus 130 is a triangle must be equals to 180 so we got 2x 180 so we take the 130 to the other side it subtract and that give us 50 we divide both side by 2 and that give us 25 degrees so here remember the whole of this here is 60 the whole of this here is 60 and we have getting this here to be 25 so remember don't look at how the size of it this wasn't drawn to the scale so based upon that for us to find the angle p is going to be 60 minus the 25 and that must be 35 degrees so this is 35 degrees okay let's look at another one we have to know your straight line straight line add up to 180 so we can say w plus x plus y plus z is 180 degree but let's look at this given but we have been given this one to be 40 so i can replace that with 40 so here become 140 is that w plus x plus y is 140 so i can replace it with that then plus z must be equals to 180 so this will help us to find our z and that is equals to 40 but we have also been given x plus y plus z must be equals to 180 this was given so since we got the z x plus y now the z is 40 so plus 40 must be equals to 130 degree therefore x plus y and that's what we are looking for that make it easy must be equals to 130 minus 40 and that is 90 degrees and tada we are done so this is 90 let's look at the last one for this video so we have already talked about this line here this line here tells you that they are the same we said that anytime we have a line when it comes to geometry we can extend it so this line here we can extend it and here we see this mark over here that say, tells you that the angles are the same so we can see that this triangle is going to be isosceles two sides are the same but what we could also do we can extend this line and if that is the case then we can see that this and here are alternate so that means so here have to be a and if if here is a it's congruent is the same as this so here have to be a 
we can also look at this line we can extend it and we can say this is alternating with this so if here is a then that means here is 3a that's another way so we could say that oh the if we are looking at the inside we get a a a so we will say 3a plus a plus a must be equals to 180 and then we get 5a which is equals to 180 and we divide both sides by 5 and that gives us 36 or you can talk about the interior adjacent they add up to 180 remember our first example we did talk about that so here the adjacent interior angles add up to 180 so you could have say oa plus 4a must be equals to 180 and that bring you back to what we got that's a I thank you very much for being with me all the way to the end. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so. Like the video, share with your friend, and see you in the next video. Be blessed. Bye-bye.